All right, up next, our fifth presenter, Ryan. Hi, can everybody hear me? Awesome, okay. I'm Ryan Cunningham, founder of Journey. A month ago, my 13-year-old sister texted me and was looking for a computer to play Fortnite with her friends and do her schoolwork on. She asked me for recommendations and told me she wanted a laptop. So I thought to myself, okay, I can find her a laptop that can do the job. Then she told me she was looking for one that was under $250. She began to send me links to every old Asus laptop she could find, and they wouldn't even be able to handle her schoolwork or online gaming especially. I told her she should look into building her own PC because I can still keep costs down, but also give her a better computer, a better bang for her buck. She told me she had no idea how to do that and her mom wouldn't be able to help her either. That's where Journey was born. Our mission is to help kids find the exact computer they need and give them the tools and education to build it themselves. According to the NPD group, in the United States, 91% of kids or 64 million uh, play video games in some capacity. In the Austin area, there are over 400,000 children that we could help. I've been working with many kids aged 7 to 13 in the past three months as an esports coach and have seen firsthand the, the desire that they have to build their own PC in order to play their games that they like and also do their schoolwork. The most importantly, though, they want to learn about the technology they're working with as well as learn new skills along the way. Journey recognizes this, this need for education and we plan to help them learn in many different ways. I've spent the last few weeks socializing this concept with parents and their children, and they've shown strong interest. Parents often can't help their kids, but they understand the importance of teaching them about the computers and the hardware that makes them work. If Journey moves on to the next stage of this competition, time will be spent conducting more customer interviews and research, as well as building the service to reach out to the market and begin getting traction and educating children. Initial costs are pretty low, so they'll be self-funded but we plan on fundraising uh, soon after the concept is validated to grow and improve. The funds will be put towards developing more in-depth educational materials, marketing and branding, as well as exposing or expanding to new markets outside of Austin. Thanks for your time. We're Journey and we educate the future one part at a time. So if I, this is Gordon, if I want one of these, um, are you providing me a how-to guide and I go get the components and put it together or do I go through some configurator and you ship me a box of parts and I assemble it? Great question. Yep, that, that's it. So the way that it's actually kind of a two-part system. So like you said, it's you fill out kind of a survey um, to kind of personalize exactly what you need. The way that I'm thinking about doing it is having, you know, a couple different pre-build part guides or like boxes that kind of fit different needs, gaming, homework, a mix like top of the line budget, you know, having different options that when you fill out the survey, it gives you exactly what you need. The box is then sent to the kid um, with all the educational materials on how to build it, why each part is being used, how to do it and how to maintain it, as well as like any other supplementary material um, that is, you know, important in teaching the kids um, why they're doing what they're doing and how so to you do are, it. You are shipping me the components. So you're going to be, yeah, yep. yeah that's a, that yes. means definitely something to think about rather than the how-to how guide, because now you're in the inventory business. Now, all of a sudden, parts yes. go obsolete all of a sudden. And now definitely. you're now you're a warranty provider. Now, when something goes wrong, I'm shipping it back to you. So anyway, just, you know, think about yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely important to keep in mind. Yeah, okay. I think that, that my concept was, or my thinking was, is that by offering them the, like it's, it's when I had searched even for parts online, it's kind of hard for me to figure out what ones I want. Yeah. So the idea is to, to kind of give them what they need, but also help them know when to repair, when to get, upgrade certain parts, you know, if, if their budget allows. So I guess that is something that, that, like you said, that is definitely important to keep in mind though, is that as time goes on to improve and upgrade. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, this thank you. Is, Thanks for your question. Great. I laughed at the uh, 250 and I was like, there's no way you can get anything <laughs> I, it, like that for 250. Me too. I <laughs> felt so bad that she truly thought she could get one. That just shows though, that that's why I was so worried. I was like, is that really what she thinks she can get for Because they think a tablet or a phone is 250. Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> take a look at the Michael Dell model. So Michael Dell back in the day built custom computers. So really take a look. So to Gordon's point, you're looking at inventory, you're going to be looking at all these different things. And then my question is, how are you going to fund it? Are you getting like affiliate costs or are you creating a full web service where you're not actually getting inventory? You're just like connecting them to the manufacturers. So like AMD and different places and things like that. So like 
B2C, in the B2C arena, it's laptops and tablets. That's why she thought she could get it for 250 And I yep. digress from Black Friday on all the things. Um, so, but computers and AMDs and computer chips, like that's old school. That's still a very mm-hmm. old industry in how they think to market and they think in volume. So they thought school volume and things like that. So just um, consider, I'm curious on as you develop this is really look mm-hmm. at that space. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point and a great, great, you know, question and points that you made. Um, you know, I, I think that's that's one of the things I've been thinking of too, is like, you know, how exactly should I frame it? Should it be where we have the inventory and then we send it to them? Should we buy it as they order it? One of the ways that we plan on making money is not just from the sale of the computer, but also from the sale of, or the additions of the educational materials. You know, at first it's kind of hard that you can't just come out with all the content at once, but as, as time goes on and as we grow, you know, my, my goal is to, is to actually produce more educational materials, kind of make this a place that the parents can trust that their kids can learn coding, can learn how to build the PCs, how to do work with web apps, things that are more in depth, maybe different levels of, of education. Um, Cause I, I've heard from when I talked to some of the kids that um, I've been coaching, a lot hey, of them want to build I'm, the PCs. I'm gonna have to interrupt you. Uh, you yeah. just need to answer the question. Uh, oh, okay, gotcha. Taking no a worries. little bit too long. You don't gotcha. get to make your pitch again. No, that's fine. No worries. Right. No worries. And I'm sorry, judges. Uh, we need to move on. All right. And thank you so much, Ryan. And we can't wait to see thank how you. you empower families through the power of technology.